Hey guys, it's me, Beauty Glamour here, so in today's video I am going to be talking about makeup expiration dates and when makeup is expiring. Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button below, now let's get to this video. So, a uh, few quick things that I did want to say before we get on with this video, and the first thing I did want to say is that I'm going to be breaking this up into two parts, so I'm going to go makeup in the first part and then I'm going to be talking about body products in the second part of the video. Another thing I did want to say is that when I'm talking about the makeup, you know, you'll kind of notice I'll be moving from like face products to lip products to eye products and that's because the site that I got this information from did not have it categorized. So that's why it's kind of like just jumbled all over the place like that. And the last thing I did want to say is that the information with the makeup is all up to date. This is all the expiration date from the share. Now, I did want to say with some of the stuff from the second part, um, some of that information is for share, and I will be telling you guys when in the point of the video the stuff, um, expiration dates are from last year. So yeah, I think that's it. So let's get straight into this video. So, foundation. Foundation typically lasts six months to a year. Um, concealer lasts one to two years. Blush can last two years and that um, is also including face powders. So now if you do see me looking down it's because I've got all the information on hair so that's why I'm looking down. Okay now mascara that lasts three months. Um, lipsticks and last can last one year. That includes lip gloss and lip liners. Um, brow pencil, they last a year. Liquid eyeliner lasts three to four months. Um, cream, bl cream blood sticks last 12 to 18 months. Now, if you're not quite sure, what's a multiple stick? Multiple sticks are multi-purpose. Um, um, face makeup product. You can use them for like a blush, then they can also be used um, on other parts of your body, so eyes. That's where multiple sticks are eyeshadows. They typically last three to six months, and gel eyeliner lasts two months. Nail polish lasts one to two years. Um, now, moving on to which is body products. So the first one is fragrance. Now obviously that includes like a lot of different things, um, games and stuff. Those last eight to ten years. Yes, eight to ten years. I know that's a long time, but you do have to store it properly to get it to last that long. Um, body lotion. That lasts three years. And now I did want to just take a quick little time out in the beginning of this video I did mention that some of the stuff um, in part two um, from last year. Now the sunscreen, the soaps and cleansers, moisturizers, or moisturizers and serums, those are all um, that I got from last year, which was 2019. Um, so yeah. So sunscreen lasts two years, um, soaps and cleansers last two to three years, um, the cleansers last one to two years, the moisturizers and the serums both last one year. Okay, now I did want to just say a few um, things with like storing things properly. Um, you can like go on websites and just see like how to store um, perfumes to make them last longer, and all this stuff. 
your proper storage on if you guys would like me to do a video on just how to store things properly to make them last please let me know in the comment section um now a lot of like the soaps and stuff this um has to do with like is it a natural product because like Natural things tend to actually expire faster than if it's not natural. So like if it's an all natural organic type of soap, then um, the expiration date may not be the same um, as what I said in this video. So there are a few factors that do play into how long a product expires. Now, obviously, you can still use expired makeup like after it's expired. Just make sure that the formula has not gone bad, like a mascara. If it's smelling funny, you know, if it's really clumpy, throw it out because you just keep using that, you risk getting an eye infection, and nobody wants eye infections. So just make sure that the formulas you are using are still good. So yeah, if it's not good, throw it out, you know. Sometimes I know like labels don't have um, like a after you open how long of this last uh, expiration date. So if you can't find that, like go on Google um, and like find out if you can find out just about how long this pr product normally lasts or keep the receipt. Um, or just like write down, you know, the year you got it, and so that way you have some point, a reference point. So yeah, those were some tips. I just wanted to kind of give you guys. Um, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button below. Bye.